This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Fred LK and I'm back with another tour review and today... Frenzy. And because I'm colorblind, I really appreciate the fact that they say it's red. So anyway, he's like the blue one. We're going to review him because it's a good figure and goes well on the shelf. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. volunteer for this geeky assignment i want skywalk's job and now to take a look at frenzy or the box yeah um you know that's i i think that's this is the exterior of the autobot base uh but you only had the pile driver uh in the uh, uh inside astro train but whatever nine steps to transform he has the guns, he has the pile driver, he has the cassette. Oh, and yeah, you do have, it's weird, Studio Series 86, most figures have two backgrounds, or two, two cardboard, one to hold the figure, the other one to do the scene. Uh, the core classes, they only have one with holes. So I, th I think that's a miss uh, for people who like to collect the dioramas. I personally don't, so it doesn't really bother me. But... For the collectors, it might. Transformation, easy stuff, you know. A few steps. There you go. And there you go. So, yeah. Uh, the pile driver looks really good. Same mold, uh, different color. Uh, looks good. Oh, looks like I have a little white blemish here. Can I scrape it off? All right, well, there's still a little mark, so I think that's plastic, but I don't know what the rest was. But uh, he looks, uh, they, they look good, and the guns, a little hollow underneath, but on top. Nice details, look good. This is what we uh, expect from a, uh, a frenzy. And I don't know how long it's been since he actually had those accessories uh, with him. I mean, he never had them in G1. Uh, I don't recall seeing any figure with that, and uh, so that's cool that they have that. And the figure itself, um, you know, looks the part. Uh, the color scheme is good. Uh, the gold and black with the red. And a little bit of silvery blue in the legs. And then on the side, the back, you know, very hollow, of course. And that's pretty much what you get. Good articulation. You have your Ferris wheel. You don't have a merry-go-round. Uh, you do have a nice Van Dam with these guys. And uh, you have a knee band, more than 90. Uh, you, do, you don't have an elbow band. You have the hand rotation. The head on a ball joint turns 360. And you have a toe tilt because of transformation. So there you go. All right, let's, uh, well, let's, uh, let's assemble him. So you, you just have to put the guns in the back like that. And then for the pile driver, you just fold the hand and then turn it whichever side you prefer. Whoa! That went flying. And then you put uh, the pile drivers in. Like that. Come on. It's not super tight. You know, you move it around a little bit. So here you have him with the pile driver mode. And if you kneel him like that, a little forward. And you could get the boom, 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 boom action. All right, let's do some comparison. Let's take this out. Put this guy in the back. Uh, this side. All right, so here he is with Siege Frenzy. Well, actually, that's Siege Rumble, according to... Some guy who made a mistake writing stuff on the package. So, yeah. But, uh, I mean, you know, when you qu quickly look at it, you're like, oh, it's the same bot. But it's really not. 
Color scheme is a little different. Uh, it's better articulation, better molding. The head sculpt is better. Uh, and he's, uh, you know, a little taller. You know, half a head, maybe. So, yep. No, I like it. But uh, this is going to go to my kid now. Studio Series 86 Rumble, who's been fully toy hacked. And I can't wait to have this kit with the Bossman Siege Soundwave. And I can't wait to have another Soundwave that transform into a tape deck. Now we have that release with the three pack that I'm not going to get because I don't want another Megatron and I don't need another Shockwave. Uh, but I'm, I do want a tape deck uh, Soundwave. So apparently it's going to be a legacy release, but they might, they have hinted that they want to do a legacy new mold. So I don't know, hopefully. And with Siege Jetfire, just cause. All right, let's uh, put this guy in cassette mode. And there we go, the tape mode. And he looks like a tape. I like this guy. Um, it's nice color scheme. And the transformation is easy. Uh, you know, and this is, you know, that color scheme, you know, for 80s kids, this, this is uh, an actual design that we had on cassettes back then. So that's pretty cool. The only thing missing is the rewind, well, there, you know, those holes where the tape recorder would plug in and move the tape around. And I wish they had that, but, you know, can't complain. This looks good enough. And now to compare some size, Car Class Soundwave. You know, it uh, the cassette doesn't fit in that deck, but at least I have a tape deck. Alternator Sunstreaker, just cause. And Buzzwordy Bumblebee uh, Silver Streak. Forgot his name for a second. All right, let's put him back in robot mode. Hey, Frenzy! And here we are with the ultimate showdown with Frenzy and the gang attacking uh, Perceptor. And in, and don't, this is not a cartoon accurate representation of the movie scene. I'm just putting butts together. And then you have, you know, I'm hoping that there, we're going to get a new laser beak soon. You know, that'd be nice to have a, because this is a Siege version uh, with a more Cybertronian look. I'd like to have a, uh, well, the next flick, Netflix one. This Ravage, I don't mind him too much. You know, so uh, hopefully we'll get a new one. But we're definitely missing a steel jaw and a the other guy. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.